All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in Tlacolula outside of Oaxaca, Mexico, and today is a very special day. I am so pumped. We are going for a classic Oaxacan breakfast, and then we're going to go eat a whole lamb. Let's check it out. If you like juicy lamb in the most rich and flavorful sauce, you're gonna love this video because we truly found meat heaven right here outside of Oaxaca, Mexico. Today, we're starting out with a huge Mexican breakfast and then meeting up with our buddy Javier who's taking us to a local restaurant to enjoy a whole cooked barbacoa lamb. Awesome, look at this beautiful town we are in. Classic feel, color everywhere. And I think right up ahead is a classic Igaditos joint. We're gonna try a Oaxacan breakfast and then go for a big, massive lamb. All right, I am pumped and I think we just found a joint for Igaditos and mole. Oh. Hola, señora. Buenas tardes. Oh, it's mole. Mole negro. Oh, mole negro. Oh. Oh, caldo de pollo con Oh, caldo de pollo, chicken soup. Oh, beautiful. Igaritos. or oh, Oaxaca de desayuno. Si. Oh. First up, before eating a whole lamb, we're trying out a few famous Oaxacan breakfast dishes, like the igaditos, basically scrambled eggs with chicken, tomato, garlic, and onion, along with one of the most famous seven Oaxacan mole dishes, the coloradito, a rich and thick sauce made from chocolate, onions, cinnamon, cloves, guajillo chilies, bay leaves, garlic and onions. Oh, gracias. Igaldito. Oh, look at this, guys. We have here Oaxacan breakfast. This is the igaldito. It's kind of like scrambled eggs with chicken, onion, garlic. They put a bit of hot chili salsa on top and it's in a chicken soup. And then look at this. This is one of the seven moles from Oaxaca. Should have lots of tomatoes, tomatillos, onion and garlic. I think it actually has some raisins and sesame seeds as well. Maybe some cinnamon and some cloves. It's gonna be rich and delicious. And also a bit of chocolate, so you can taste chocolate in there as well. Let's try out some of this igalito first. Oh, that is the perfect flavor of scrambled eggs. It's all about the smoked chipotle in there. That's what it is. It's a little smoky. They're definitely spicy. Those are the best scrambled eggs you'll ever have. Let's go in for this coloradito. Look at that chicken. She took it right out of that chicken soup. Oh yes, the caldo, the pollo, and put it into that coloradito rich, rich mole. Just one of seven moles from Oaxaca. Oh yes. Mmm. Mmm. There's definitely a slight chocolate flavor in there. Maybe slightly fruity as well. Maybe some raisins and a lot of chili in there. It's definitely, it definitely has a, a bit of a chili powder or a chili paste flavor to it. After tasting the nice and fluffy Oaxacan bread that tasted a bit like a cinnamon bun and dipping it right into the local hot chocolate, we made our way out to meet up with our buddy Javier who took us to go eat a whole barbacoa lamb. Perfect start to the day, and we are gonna go meet up with my buddy Avier and go for a whole cow. No, 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 a whole sheep. <laughs> Let's go check it out. So we're hanging out with my buddy Avier now, and we are gonna have a big barbacoa lamb, right? Man, that's gonna be huge. I can't wait for this. Okay, sweet. Let's check it out. Check it out. All right, here we are. Awesome. Here it is, right? Yep. Barbacoa joint. So this is it? Yep. Barbacoa Here. heaven. Barbacoa heaven. Hola, right. senor. Very nice. So they're cooking one up just for us. And we can see how they're making it, right? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, is this ours? Yeah. This is our lamb here. Look at this. We're getting all of this. All of it. Oh my. Look at this. Look what we're going to eat today. <laughs> we're getting a whole lamb. That's huge. That's massive. Muy grande. Si. Sí. Muy grande. Sí. So he's going to show us how it's made here, right? Yeah. He's going to show us the process. He's okay. Show us everything. This is incredible. And how much does one of these go for? Like mm, 500. $500. Yeah, pretty much. Oh man, this is crazy. We can't believe we're getting a whole a whole lamb. 
Those must be the testicles there. Yeah. Those are the, yeah. those eaten as well? Yeah, if you want. We're you gonna eat those? Yeah. Uh, if you want. If you want. Wow. Wow, that takes a lot of, a lot of strength. Soak it. What do you think, Ting? It's crazy. It's How crazy? How can you finish it? <laughs> well... Have you ever seen something like this? I have never seen anything like this before. We've got, we're gonna, we're cooking a whole lamb here. So how many, how many barbacoa does he sell here per day? Let me ask him. ¿Cuántas este, barbacoas así se venden al día? Cinco. Like five. Five per day. It's wow. Crazy. This is real meat heaven. This is real meat heaven. <laughs> That's a lot of meat, man. Wow. This is just insane. So, so what's the, the process? He's gonna, he's, he's chopping it to, to get the air in, right? So you can put the chili in, and then he's gonna soak it, and then what's he gonna do after? He's gonna add some chili and spices. Add some chili and spices, wow. I can't believe he just chops up a whole lamb in, in just a couple minutes. Muy increíble, muy grande. <laughs> he's the machete man. He's the machete man, look at that machete. That's the whole, Spine there, right? Okay, you want me to try? Like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did it. Gracias, senor. The chili, this is like a uh, chili guajillo. Chili guajillo. Oh, guajillo chili. Yeah. Made with chili guajillo. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just soaking it in that chili guajillo. This is the paste from it. That's the paste from, from the chili. Wow. And then what types of, what type of leaves are these? This is oh, yeah, avocado leaves. Avocado leaves? Yeah. Oh. So he's putting this meat on top of avocado leaves yeah. from this big tub. Wow. So as to get the taste. To get the taste. Avocado leaves. Isn't that beautiful? We got a whole lamb gonna cook for us today. Good for us. Just, <laughs> that looks massive. Yeah, crazy. Ting, what do you think? It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. You better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Isn't that crazy? So what else is in the paste? Is there any vinegar or garlic or? It's garlic, a little vinegar, chili of course, tomato. Tomato? Yeah. It's all in there. Yeah. There's the testicle. Yeah. Are we gonna eat that? If you want. Let's do it. One for me, one for you. Deal. <laughs> so that he's gonna prepare a couple for us, right? Yeah, a couple. That's so this is the plain? Yeah, the plain one, it's called barbacoa blanca. Oh, okay. Barbacoa blanca. Yeah. So we got so we got one with chili and one with the garlic salt, right? Yeah. Barbacoa blanca. Okay. So he's covering this one on top of the avocado leaves mm -hmm. and garlic salt. He's covering it so that it will be ready for the oven. Okay. So they're putting it in now, right? Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna put it in the hole. They got the fire going, and now they're gonna put it deep in that barbacoa pit. Oh yeah, there it goes. Deep in the pit. Oh, that is true barbacoa. You know, you see it on the street, but to see it made here in the backyard, deep in the hole is another thing completely. Yeah, exactly. And they're gonna take the next one and put it right on top, right? Yeah. That's amazing. So the big one is the, the chili, red the red one, and this is the, the plain the one. one. Yeah. Barbacoa roja, and the one on top is gonna be barbacoa blanca. Incredible. There we go. It's gonna cook for three hours. So let's, let's wait for it and feast. Oh, so he's gonna cover it in the ash, right? Oh, that is, 
Beautiful. Oh, look at that. That smells awesome. That smells awesome. Nice. Oh. This is a, a dream come true to see how barbacoa is made in Mexico. Oh yes. Oh man. Look at this. We got a, all the meat you could ever need. That is heavy. That is heavy. Oh. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Oh wow. The head, all of the meat, the blood. It's in a bag. All those avocado leaves. And then we've also got, this is the, the garlic and yeah, the plain one. salt one, right? Wow. Look at this. That's the skull. You can eat the meat right off of that, right? I can wait for that. And there's the testicles in there as well? Yeah. Oh. Look at that, man. Look at all those tender That's insane. chunks of lamb. That, it looks like it's just gonna fall right off there and, and melt into your mouth. Oh, this is total, oh, oh, it's breaking. Yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. Take that, buddy. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. Look at this. Isn't that the most beautiful piece of lamb meat that you've ever seen? Let's see if we can get a nice beauty. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. Oh. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that big piece of meat. Mm. Oh, dude, those avocado leaves. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good, isn't it? Your meat is just tender. This oh, man. huge chunk of meat. That looks like, <laughs> it's just so <laughs> soft and tender. You can eat this whole barbacoa lamb wrapped up in a tortilla and served with a huge variety of salsas, chapulines grasshoppers, and Oaxacan string cheese. But sometimes you just gotta go for the big juicy meat bite to get the pure flavor. Oh, it needs juice. Yeah. So we took, we took it and didn't put enough juice on it, right? Yeah. It looks, oh, that it just looks, looks amazing. Yeah. Gracias, senor. Yeah, it was a little dry, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it looks pretty juicy to me, but maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe a little more juice will... You can't get juicer. You can't get any juice. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. Look at that tender, fatty meat. So wow. Tender. Wow. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Oh, it's so hot. It's still Oh, it's so burning hot, but unbelievably soft. Mmm. Mmm. That is so tender. It's just falling off the bone. Pure barbacoa joy. Fatty, really wet, saturated with that sauce. And the sauce, I would say it's actually, it's not very spicy. It just has a light tomato smoothness and a bit of a herbal flavor from the avocado leaves, right? That's it. That's exactly it. Oh, look at that. The cheek meat should be the best. You good? There's the head. There it is. So we can just eat the cheek meat and the tongue. Oh, look at that. There's the tongue. You want to share the tongue with me? Sure, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Here, take half. Can we just split it? Yeah. Oh, it's so tender, you can just... Yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. Mmm. Cheers, Cheers, man. Mmm. Oh. Now that is tender. You think that meat is tender? The tongue is like next level tender. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, oh, it's just so soft and juicy. What's this called? This is called sangrita. Oh yeah. So this is the blood, right? Yeah. And they cook it in a plastic bag. And the reason why the plastic bag doesn't melt is because it's just steamed slowly, yeah. right? It's like, it's slow, it's slow cooked yeah. underneath the ground there. And oh, we got a fresh plate for it. We can put lime on there and that'll just elevate it and give it a freshness. Nice, that's good. Try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. You like that? I love it. Mmm. It's quite salty. It's very strong flavor as well. 
I think I like the tongue and the head meat more, but that is still delicious. After making a barbacoa tortilla wrap with the juicy lamb meat and all the Chapulinas grasshoppers and all the salsas, we became incredibly full and discovered that the testicles somehow disappeared. And this was just way too much food. So we went out and bought a massive container, packed it up, and Javier brought it back to a poor neighborhood and gave the whole thing away to hungry people on the streets. Thank you so much for watching these food and trial videos. And that was an amazing experience. What a beautiful lamb. We're gonna go give this to people yeah. that need it. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below. We got Thai Haula merch as well in the description and travel eat repeat. Thank you, Javier for taking me to that amazing barbacoa lamb. Thanks, buddy. What an amazing day.